The Mighty Warrior and his mustache. He's a sophisticated caveman because he comes with a stick, but he also does a lot of damage and he has a little bit of armor so we can be a little more reckless. And there's a money tree already, so we're getting pretty good luck there. We just need to actually pop it, hopefully get an item out of it. Nope, but we did kill them and we picked up a little bit of money. Okay, let's add 5% crit chance and a rock. Armed with a stick and a rock, we're going to do good things today. I mean, the extra damage by itself is really enough to kind of get us going on this. I really want to break that. Okay, mission accomplished. Didn't give us an item though. But you know what? That's okay. Sometimes we just don't get everything we want. We just got to roll with that and keep on going. This build is a little scary because I have to be right in the face of everyone to do damage. Uh, and if they all hit me, I will die very quickly. So let's take some more armor perhaps on that note. And uh, the spear is nice because it hits them from quite a distance. That's going to allow me to be just a little further. Further. And uh, thanks once again to the comments. I've learned that, yeah, picking these things up obviously gets you times two by the way it tells you times two. Uh, I didn't notice that before because I'm stuck with his brain and, um, well, I can't fix it. So I rely on the comments to learn how to play games, basically. That's really why I do what I do. I just like playing games and the comments tell me all the things I'm doing wrong so I learn faster. Okay, we're going to kill them, march through them. I would like a little bit more luck, obviously, to, uh, you know, get even that hurt a lot. Oh, here we go. This is a good one. Plus 20 luck and 10 additional HP from consuming. And I guess we're going to take extra crit damage because this might be a crit build. 30 luck would be nice, actually. Let's take that. Uh, all of these are good. I wish I could get that because that's a lot of damage. We'll take a stick and a snake. Basically, burning would spread to nearby enemies. Uh, we don't have any uh, burning sticks yet, but we might get there eventually. At least I hope we will. But for now, we at least have the potential to do a lot of crit damage. So we can hit pretty big when we do hit things. Really would have liked an item out of there, but I do think we got to level up. And the luck is starting to uh, pay dividends because there's an item free of charge. Hopefully it's a rare one, but we'll see. Okay, those guys are only hitting for one, so that makes me feel a little better. I still would maybe like a little more armor and stuff because we could still get hit a lot in a hurry. But, you know, we'll see how this goes. This wave's going easy. We're, like, keeping them completely wiped, really. I wish there was more money trees. Yeah. You and me both, sir. They're pretty good, though, actually, really. 25% chance to deal 5 damage. Yeah, that's a free one. 15% uh, damage is uncommon. 8% crit chance. And then we get another stick, perhaps. Well, we'll take extra crit damage, and then a stick, and then a rock. Then we have our 6 weapons and uh, lots of extra crit going on. Oh, I just remember, too, I think for every stick we have, it boosts the damage of other sticks. So we really actually could build, like, a stick uh, juggernaut, really. Especially with the crit damage and stuff. This might actually turn out to be a really good build accidentally. Uh, which is ironically the only way I can get good builds because I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, it is nice to be able to pop those money trees right away though too. Normally they take a little bit of uh, abuse before I can open them, which is dangerous. Now it seems like I can just kind of bust them open. And when I get into a big mob, I actually kind of destroy them really quick. So suddenly this is a very satisfying build. And we'll bust those guys apart and those guys. There's another money tree, not an item. Maybe I could use more health too. I'd feel a little better probably with more health. I always feel like I have these really good ideas while I'm in the level. And then when it comes to upgrades, I see the damage and just go for damage because I just can't help it. Oh, here we go though. 10 max HP, 2 HP regeneration. We start at 50%, so we're still going to start at 10 health anyway. Uh, there's 10 max HP again. Do we want luck? What's our luck at? 50? We want more luck. Okay, this also comes with luck and extra, you know, healing, but this is a hammer, which is going to do 20 base damage. So we're going to get rid of a stone for a hammer, which better be worth it. I just realized how expensive that was. But the sticks should actually be doing, I think, 28 damage uh, each. Uh, the hammer itself is 20, the stone is 15, the spear is 15. That is at the most basic though. Um, I do know that these guys hurt a lot, so we're not going to get touched by those. We're going to try not to. Uh, we're just going to keep moving in this level though. Uh, situations like that are a little scary, but at least we're doing enough damage that we should kill everything that gets anywhere close to us. Ow. See, whatever that was hurt a lot. That was 8 damage by itself. And I don't know what it was that hit us there. We need that cactus fruit. We need lots of cactus fruit. It'll quench ya. Okay, give me that one. Yeah, that put us back up to full health. So we're okay. There's an item on the ground. I don't know if that was just a random drop or that was a money tree. I'm not sure where it came from. Uh, this makes me want more armor and health, but there's a lot of good stuff dropping suddenly. There's a second item. I saw another money tree down here, if I can get to it. Please hit the tree. Just some heals. That's okay. We still got two items waiting for us. That's two free items as long as I don't die. There's another money tree. And there's another item. Great, that luck is really starting to pay off. Do I want speed over range? I guess so. 10% damage. We're going to lose our range. Oh, okay. We're not taking that one though. Okay. Let's take higher crit chance. So we're basically one in five hits is a critical hit. There's a circular saw, which is another uncommon. So we're going to get rid of this stone for circular saw because that does 15 damage every 0.5 seconds. We're slowly upgrading our weapons. 
I think the circular saw is a lot of damage overall. Between that and the sticks, I think we're pretty well set up. The hammer also helps. We don't seem to be uh, doing it. I'm seeing hits for over 100 damage pretty frequently. Ow. This is where things are obviously going to start to get a little bit intense. We need more probably armor, maybe dodge. The heals can get us through this, but we also just need a lot of output just to get through that many idiots because there's just a lot to kill. Okay, there's a cactus that healed us up. We're going to work towards the money tree up top and we should be able to kill that fairly quick. There's an item, so that's exciting. Maybe we should just stay right on the edge of this mob. The heals can probably carry us through this a little bit. This is going to hurt, but we got it. And moving on, there wasn't an item though, which is very sad. I can see why the guns have such an advantage because you can sit way far away from all this danger. But if I sit right on the edge, I can't actually kill it. It's just kind of tense when I sit there. Okay, here's what I need. Plus two armor. We're losing speed. Ooh, rare upgrades. I think I might want life steal. Damage sounds nice. I think life steal is more important right now. We could take some armor for damage. I think we're actually going to do that for a second. I know that's very... Ooh, brass knuckles. I'm going to take the brass knuckles over this spear uh because they do quite a bit more damage they do 30 per second rather than the spears 15. then let's trade a little bit of luck for speed oh never mind i can't afford it all right well we're gonna be really slow but we are armored i don't think we need a lot of speed for these guys i do feel a lack of speed in general which is a little bit annoying but we'll make this work i mean the armor should keep us pretty safe like we just took a hit from a big guy and whatever that was is only five damage there's yeah so we're we can take a lot of abuse we do need some heals at some point though and it's getting hard to dodge things because we are pretty slow this is very uh it works there's a lot of damage going out it's just kind of hard to stay alive well stay out of the way of things things will hit us but they won't do a ton of damage and we'll get the heals and eventually we should just mob straight into the middle of everything if we get enough armor but we'll see if we actually get there yeah i like that like we're healing through that that's kind of funny I guess because of our lifesteal too. We do enough damage that our lifesteal really keeps us in shape. All right. Oh, it's just going to march straight into them. Okay. The rare heart is tempting, but we're going to take 15% attack speed. And then we're maybe just going to take this because we still get it anyway. Tempted to do head injury, but I, what little range I have, I need to hold on to. We can, however, take this for 15% damage and then 30% crit damage. Do we want that? I think I'm going to save up for better upgrades. That's tempting, but I think we're doing okay as it is. Like our damage is not hurting at all. And that does heal us. I just took a big hit from like a herd of these guys. And that one did kind of hurt. So still need to pay a little bit of attention. Especially with the snails. Because I think the snails hit hardest of all. And that's not accurate. Because snails are supposed to be very slow really. I'm hoping going under 100 luck doesn't affect my item drop rate or anything. I do still see a money tree. But they're going to be... Hey, there's a random item. Money trees are going to be harder and harder to get to. Just because obviously survival needs to come first. And with a build like this, I'm always in the danger zone. But it would be really fun to have a build of this ridiculous armor and dodge so you could just go right through the middle of the mobs. Because the little bit of armor does help, but you still take so much damage here that you need a ton to be able to tank through that. This one's really good. And you're not going to believe this, but I got two of those in a row. So that's an extra 15 damage for everything I'm wielding. Uh, I'm going to take the extra armor. There's another hammer, which would be cool. That's useless. 50 luck is pretty good though, isn't it? I don't know if I need any more luck, but I want it. We could take more armor for speed. Uh, One more roll. Flaming brass knuckles. That's what I wanted. I Can I take a loan out? Can I sell something? Oh, that would be so much fun. They're basically these, but they also light things on fire. 10 burning damage. Well, there's always next time. We'll take an extra 10% damage for now. All right, so I saw a hit for 158. I am kind of curious as to how much damage we can do overall. 158 was the biggest I've seen so far. Uh, this level is also going to be hard just because of the amount of little guys. I don't have enough like ongoing damage output to really take them out. So I need to rely on heals a little bit. We're just going to tank through them. The extra armor is probably helping a lot. Plus the amount of healing we get from heals. Uh, yeah, because this obviously... You really notice uh, with a build like this how difficult the levels are and the different enemies. Because it really mattered. Wow, we actually died. That's pretty wild. With that much damage and lifesteal, we still died. And armor. Okay. I've got an idea. We're going to go in loud so we get 30% extra damage. That comes with 50% extra idiots, but that's 50% extra experience and potential item drops. We just need a little bit of luck at the beginning. Uh, the pistol works well because it's doing 13 instead of 10 damage, which means we can actually kill these guys fairly readily. We've already leveled up. Uh, we just need some luck-based items right away that way we can get extra items throughout our entire run. Okay, we didn't get luck, but we got 10% attack speed and a double-barreled shotgun, which is nice. That's going to help keep idiots away. And... Uh, Especially for these guys, you can hit a few of them at a time. Because these guys are pretty annoying to deal with. The shotgun's really good at just keeping things right out of my face. So I'm happy with the... Uh, ooh, that's not a great spot to be. I'm happy with the guns so far. What we need is a little bit of luck and maybe health and or armor. Because I can already tell this is going to get really, really hard. Really, really quick. Alright, here's some armor. 
Uh, there's another double barrel shotgun. There's also a taser. Can I? I can afford both of those, so I'm going to afford both, both of those. The more damage and stuff going out, the better. The stun also helps. The taser will stun some of the quicker things, then the shotgun will blow them up in my face. Still need some luck, though. I don't need luck, but I want it, because that's just going to make me that much stronger by the end. I want those rare items. I want the minigun. I want whatever the rare version of the other guns are. Uh, mostly, I just want to kill a lot of stuff in a hurry. Okay, there's two money trees coming in. We're going to try and kill them both by the time our time runs out, because hopefully get... Nope, no items, but we did get some heals and put ourselves in a little bit of a dangerous spot doing it. Okay, I'm going to take crit damage and attack speed again. But we're going to take another pistol because the pistol is honestly just really, really strong for what it is. Then I'm going to take seared sausage. Attacks have a 25% chance to deal one burn damage. That's not hugely good, but even if we just kind of graze something with a bullet, that means they're going to be on fire. Uh, with enough extra burn damage later, potentially, that really could add up. Especially if the burns can spread to other idiots. can help to thin out the herds in a hurry. Probably could also use some extra HP. 10 HP is very stressful to play on, because, like, anything could hit me and I'll die, basically. But so far, I've got adequate firepower. That's not going to last forever, though. We're going to need to upgrade that. But the extra uh, fire rate, too, helps. Especially fire rate with the crit chance. That's just more chances to get critical hits and stuff. Yeah, I definitely walked into that, but whatever. So far, so good. We're collecting lots of money. Okay, the free item we got was one bullet dealing one damage is fired from an enemy corpse when they die. Whatever. 3% HP regeneration, I guess so. Uh, here's some of the rare stuff. Crit chance would be fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to take that. Then there's some of our luck. And then I guess just damage. Maybe lifesteal. Uh, we'll take the damage. It's uncommon. What's the worst that could happen? Wow. We could take HP regeneration just to make me feel a little better. Then I could also take 8 HP. That would also make me feel better. Because I'm just going to save up the money after this to hopefully find something better. I'm not sure how fast HP regeneration happens. Uh, but we do have some luck going now. So we'll start to get a few more drops. And I've just realized I only have 5 weapons now. So we do need to add a 6th one. Whether that's a flamethrower or a minigun, I don't really care, but we'll hopefully find something soon. Uh, and I'm just going to do my best to keep the enemies clustered up nicely so I can do max damage with everything. If I get some penetrating bullets, all the better. I do actually like this extra attack speed combined with the shotguns and everything because it really helps to clear out the big mobs. And they hit generously hard. And there's so much money to go around with all these extra mobs spawning. Like, I'm already feeling pretty rich and we've hardly made it anywhere. Oh, that was close. Okay, so I can't get brave and walk into large mobs because they will kill me. Wow. Okay, let's take a little more damage and maybe some dodge for once. Burning spreads to nearby enemies. Probably going to take that. I do need another weapon though. It's very tempting to take that. I don't want to lose the HP right now. Burning deals twice as fast. Uh, we're not doing a ton of burn though is the problem. Rocket launcher. Here we go. So 25% damage. It's bad everything else really but i mean it's a rocket launcher and i'm pretty sure it's got some good range on it so like it's gonna be good now i have a multitude of ranges we got some medium range we got some close range and we got some long range and that rocket launcher really helps to clear out things at range and especially when they're in big clusters like that because that really gives me a lot of freedom of mobility damage is feeling pretty good um so we might work a little bit more on armor and health and stuff like that but we'll see because nothing is staying alive for very long but that's probably thanks to our natural 30 percent extra damage that was a little bit scary we still only have 18 health and not a lot of armor. I guess we have a little bit of dodge, but I don't know if I can rely on that for very much. I wonder if it's possible to get 100% dodge. There's money trees spawning on this side, so we might try and get to those. The rocket launcher really helps to clear out those mobs. There's a lot of money out here I should really be grabbing. I tend to get greedy though and go into mobs with idiots to grab that. 25% chance to deal 5 damage. These are all fantastic rare items. Plus 3 range. I don't know which one to pick. They're all so good. Uh, maybe I'm just going to take straight plus 3 range damage because we have pretty high attack speed. Uh, I'm going to throw away the taser now for a pistol. And we're going to re-roll. We could take more damage there. I want to re-roll one more time. Which I kind of regret now. I'm going to take more max HP. Then we're just going to save our money for the next round where we can re-roll more. And then it's just back to work. More rocket launchers could be fun. I don't think they can hurt me either, so they're actually a bit of a safe thing to use, relatively speaking. This level is a bit, uh, ooh, yeah, this one's going to be tough. There's just a lot of different things spawning in all different areas, so it's kind of hard to um, get a safe path through. This is where I need the minigun to just constantly be firing out damage. Okay, we're just going to, we're going to go for the heals right here. Actually, nothing's quite hitting us, but it's all very close, so it's just very stressful and looks very bad but i'm not sure anything's actually hit us yet 
Our dodge might have come into play once or twice there, but actually that rocket launcher I think is really, really doing a lot. And the shotguns just to keep things out of our face. It doesn't feel very good though living like this because I'm like a fraction of a second away from absolute death at any one time. Give me the tree. There's not a lot of items dropping. We did get one somewhere though and a lot of money. Baby with the beard. Uh, we, Luck would be fun, I guess. Yeah, we'll take some more luck. Do we want more range? I feel like our range is fine. Like there's... The guys are all too close to us anyway, so extra range isn't gonna... There's what we're looking for. So let's get rid of one of our pistols for another rocket launcher. Uh, then we'll reroll, hoping for rare things. That's not rare, but that's tempting. We'll take that and then we'll reroll. Flamethrower. Do I have any special burn going on? The only thing we have is burning spreads to nearby enemies. Deals one damage fairly consistently. I think I'm not going to take that. I had to close the menu just to take that option away. I don't, that might have been really good, but it might not have been. I feel like you need extra burn damage to really make that justified at this point. Because I'm not sure how my damage bonuses really apply. Because the flamethrower itself does very little damage. It's all in its burning. And without extra burning, it just can't compete at this stage. The rocket launchers, on the other hand, uh, well, they're just good for everything, apparently. And yep, so far, so good. Would really love some more free items, but uh, luck can only carry us so far, I guess. Okay, we'll kill them, we'll kill them, we'll kill you. Work our way back over to the money tree. Yeah, the rocket launcher is actually really, really good because they're just damaging everything. Look at all that money. There's a burn damage that would help. It's too late now. We're going to go for dodge. We're going to get attack speed. Alien magic is $300. 10 max HP, 2 HP regeneration. Yeah, I can see why that's pretty expensive. Another rocket launcher. Oh, do we dare? Is this stupid? I don't care if it's stupid. I'm stupid. Three rocket launchers can't hurt. They do so much damage anyway. How could I not? Uh, and then I'm going to save the money for uh, later because <laughs> I like how we can do that now. Like these guys are normally super annoying to deal with. Now we just fire a salvo of rockets at them and they explode. And I have 36 health now, so I feel a little bit tankier just based on that. Uh, although situations like that are still a little bit more stressful than they need to be. To be fair, it is my fault for walking so deep into the corners where I'm very vulnerable. But you know what? This will work out just fine. Uh, what are we hitting for anyway? I would like to do over a thousand damage. I wonder if that could be accomplished. Maybe if there's a boss that could spawn and stuff, that would be great. And I could do big damage against a single guy. For now, it's fun killing these guys. $750. Projectiles pass through one additional target. 3 HP. That actually is stupidly strong. And then we got some rare items. Let's take a little bit of luck. Actually, a lot of luck and then 10% dodge... Let's take dodge. Okay, then we're going to take 15% damage. We're going to lose some accuracy, but we don't need accuracy when you have rockets. Then we're going to reroll it. Okay, buy shotgun, more rocket launcher. Four rocket launchers and a dream. Yeah, we lost accuracy anyway, so rocket launchers will probably carry us through this. I don't know if this was a good idea. Usually a diversity of guns is kind of, you know, good because you can hit at all ranges at all speeds. We're kind of uh, reduced to, you know, rockets, but whatever. They seem to be actually doing quite well. So no complaints. Just rockets everywhere. Everyone gets a rocket. Everyone gets a few rockets. Yeah, so far so good, actually. As long as I keep everyone just a little bit of range so they're grouped up nicely. Uh, I uh, definitely feel not having the shotguns. My idea is starting to unravel. Uh, okay, I think whatever we just ate definitely saved us there. Uh, but yeah, the rockets, the rockets are good as like a supplementary item. When they're your main arsenal, I think they have some drawbacks. I'm getting away with this, but just barely. I think uh, we definitely relied on our dodge there a little bit, but we did it just barely. Do you think one armed can be done? 200% attack speed. All damage gains are increased by 100%, but you can only use one weapon at a time. I think it probably can be done. Um, I'm a little concerned that my pistol is only hitting for 10 though. Aren't I supposed to be doing extra damage? Oh, damage gains are increased. So my attack speed is definitely quicker, but uh, every time I increase damage, it's going to be big. So basically, I'm going to have to use a pistol until I get like a chain gun or something. Uh, I think lifesteal and stuff is going to have to be a big thing for me. I don't love any of these, so I'm just going to straight up go because I know this level is going to be easy. These guys are uh, weak, so I should be able to kill them really quick with my attack speed. And then we'll hopefully get some better upgrades after this. I should make decent money with this too because I should kill things rather efficiently so far. And there's a money tree. It didn't give me an item. The wave is done. Uh, we'll take some armor. SMG is tempting in a way, but we already have very fast attack speed. We'll take extra damage. We'll lose some range doing that, but that should be fine. We'll just go with that. So we're doing 12 damage now, which is a 20% increase, which is pretty good that easily. Uh, what we are going to need is things like piercing and then probably armor and dodge chance and stuff. Uh, damage output should not really be a problem, uh, provided we actually get some damage increase, but the attack speed is fun. 
We're just going and going and going. It just won't stop. I guess we could probably also increase attack speed some more if we wanted to, but I don't know if it's worth it. We just need to add some damage to this or crit chats. Uh, we're going to take max HP. Uh, we're going to take some dodge. I'm not going to take any of these. 50 luck is a big one. I'm going to take that. Uh, so these guys are taking two hits to kill, which is kind of not great, but we'll make this work. Using that luck, hopefully we'll find more items, which means we'll just get free things for extra luck and extra damage and extra everything. Better weapons. I want a chain gun. A chain gun would really be hilarious. Uh, a rocket launcher would also be funny, but I don't know if it's going to be the right fit right now. It would be a fast firing rocket launcher though, so maybe it would actually work. So we need to stay kind of in the center where this mob of idiots is because I need their money. I'm basically robbing them. I'm straight up murdering them for money. So if you guys could just yep, move a little bit out of the way and I'll take your money. So there's more HP. And we're going to take some armor. And we're going to take some max HP because I don't think burning damage, unless we have something that causes burns, isn't going to make a difference for us. I don't love any of these. Uh, 2 HP regeneration I will take and then we're just gonna go. It's a rather simple build overall uh, and if I don't start getting some things that can actually make a difference we're gonna start to fall behind and this run will fall apart and it's gonna start to get difficult now that we get a multitude of enemies because there's a multitude of speeds and ranges and damage needed to kill them. I definitely need more damage so we need some rare upgrades. That luck better start paying out for me. So far it hasn't. I need luck over like 100 or something to really start seeing all the items spawn in because we get some items here but not nearly enough to put me over the top. There is a money tree up top i don't know if i can get to this and kill it in time oh we did we got an item but we put ourselves in a bad spot to do that i guess we have the uh, hp though we can tank through a little bit of damage there's another money tree that's gonna be super hard to get to nope almost got it though uh we're gonna take this just because it adds straight up damage and percent damage so that's double boost for me uh 15 damage that's gonna be 30 percent damage the luck would have been nice but we'll take this for luck uh we'll probably take another three hp regeneration and now we have a leaf on our head but now we're doing 19 per bullet so that's actually a big increase now we're going back to one shotting a lot of guys which is a big deal because before we was taking two and that's just not good I think it'll take two on our piercing shot still, but that's fine. As long as we kill something in one hit, we're doing good. There's a money tree, so let's see if we can get that dead. Their extra luck should start playing a factor now. Because I think we have about 100 luck, so that means extra items, which means extra, extra, extra damage. Oh god, that was a tough spot. I thought we were going to die there for sure. In fact, we still might because those stupid snails cut me off. We need some heals pretty badly. We're going to go around them. The HP regeneration is happening. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Wow, this is getting tough. Oh, get the heals. Okay, we're okay for a sec. This is why we need like area of effect and penetration damage. We're going to stay way around the edge for a sec. And the luck was paying in, but we need damage. This will help. Okay, there's more damage again. I need the penetration one. Do we take the damage over range? I think we have to. We'll reroll. We lose HP. Can't do it anyway. HP regeneration. Uh, okay, that was a hit for 48, but that was a crit. Uh, we're doing 40, 24 for the most part, so that's good. I still need to be able to hit more things. I might need to switch to a different weapon to do this. Pistol is fun and all, but it's hard to do as just a pistol. Not without more damage going out there somewhere. I'm getting greedy for those. Shouldn't be doing that. I'm kind of hoping uh, HP regeneration can carry me through a little bit. Look at all the money trees though. Great. That way I have lots of items spawning as I die a horrible, horrible death. Okay, we're just going to keep spinning. Look at all the money trees. Wow. We're going to try and get closer to those. Okay, there. <laughs> That's a lot of enemies spawning. We might be in trouble because we can't touch that because they'll all hurt us. But there are some money trees over here. Get the money trees. Yep, there we go. The money trees in the center are hard though because I keep pulling the massive mob through the money trees and I can't, I can't fight through that. Now with this gun. I need a chain gun. I need a lot of things. Oh, well, there's range and accuracy. It's free. We'll take extra damage, I guess. What I really need is piercing or something. Crit damage, burn damage. I don't want any of those. We're just going to reroll, hoping... There's, the, there's what we need. If we could get that, all we need is a small loan. I think we'd be doing fine at that point. One damage, but we'd be doing tons of bullets. And it has piercing. That's so mean to have it there. Here's what you need, but you can't afford it because you can't kill anything because you're on stupid mode. And now that we're getting big guys spawning in, they're extra hard for us to kill. We can kill them, but they're going to start to be a problem because they're going to disappear into the hordes of idiots. And then we can't do damage to them, but they're going to pop out and kill us like that. But you know what? So far, we're doing pretty good damage considering we're using a pistol of all things. And this one will be easier to get money trees if they do spawn. Well, not anymore, maybe. We're getting pretty big mobs spawning. But our health regeneration is keeping me afloat, so I guess we have that going for us. 
We need more damage, which is weird to say. We need piercing and damage. Because when hordes like this, there's not much we can do. We just skirt around the edge, kind of taking some of the edge idiots off. But we survived. Oh, this is a tough choice. 20% damage or 3 armor? Let's take damage. A rocket launcher might actually be what we need. We're going to try this. This is going to be dumb, but we're going to do it. Just because this can, you know, kill a lot of things at once. I thought it could kill more than that. That's still plenty, really. I'm not going to complain, but... And it's hitting for 73, so... Yeah. This combined with some speed would actually be a lot of fun. I just don't have the speed anymore. Yeah, that's it. Follow me, idiots. Follow me and get rocketed. Oh, that's a bad spot. Uh, you know what? Actually, the rocket's a better choice than the pistol so far. Oh, man. That's unheard of. <laughs> Uh, strangely, and it can hit a lot of things at once. That's mostly it. I just need to kill more things at once. The pistol was good, but it could kill, at best, I think, two things. Rockets here can kill more. Uh, this level is just really hard, because obviously surviving is... Oh, God. I gotta get some, uh, health. Okay, pick up that, pick up that. Okay, we're good for a sec. This is really hard. Oh, there's more items on the ground, too. Okay, there's some more health. We're doing okay. The rockets might have saved me. I just need to, uh, figure out how to, uh, get even more damage out of this. Oh, that's tight. Uh oh good. Ooh, more damage and even less accuracy. Just what we wanted. What's our damage at? 170, 200 now. Burning deals twice as fast. Weapons no longer have a minimum range. That's probably good for the rockets. We'll take 10 HP. Here's what I needed forever ago. Projectiles pass through one additional target. Reroll. Flamethrower would be funny. Okay, let's see. I don't know if piercing really matters for the rockets. I guess the rocket keeps going. Like it hits one then bounces through to explode. Uh, so it's kind of like a, a sort of a bunker buster, but it pops through people's heads instead. Size does matter. Uh, I don't really know the strategy. Circling the outside seemed to be pretty good last time. Keeps everyone centered up. Okay, we're gonna go back the way we came then for a sec, because it's thinner. Uh, we're gonna have to skirt close to health every time, because I think the health might actually have to keep us alive here, because this is getting stupid. I need the extra heals too. I need the, the item that gives me extra heals when I touch heals. Oh, this is bad. Might not survive this. I need some health to spawn on the outside. Spawn. Oh, there's some health. Oh, I thought I could get the health and get out. I was so close. That's also stupidly hard, but it was fun.